this channel's turned into, instead of saying, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT, it's, well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. This time we have Alyssa Mercante fleeing Twitter in a situation where karma has come full circle and she can't take the heat. Before I go too far in this video, I want to be absolutely clear with everyone on my stance with this stuff. I do not condone doxing in any way, shape, form, manner, however you want to say it, do not ever go there with anyone. Even if you feel like somebody else is opening that door and they're kind of towing that line and maybe even dipping over it in their own world, it doesn't mean that you're allowed to jump into the game with them and fight fire with fire. Two wrongs don't make a right, even if you're on the left in this situation. Now with that out of the way, let's get to talking about this Alyssa Mercante doxing situation, if it's real, and what happens next. JT. Hit the subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for all the information, screenshots, and references that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So Alyssa Mercante, just to give you guys the TLDR catch up real quick on this, she contacted my wife, unprovoked, trying to insert herself into my real life and trying her best to destroy my marriage. And a lot of people out there are saying, you know what? All right, that's enough. This has gone too far. Take your foot off the gas, you know, start applying the brakes on the situation and let's all take a deep breath back. And I say, no, we're done when I say I'm done. We're done when I say we're done. When you come after my relationship, you don't get to make the rules on when I stop talking about you. She left it yesterday telling everyone that she was taking a break from Twitter, and I was under the assumption that she was going to step away for a while because she couldn't take the heat, she was getting out of the kitchen. And she wrote, I'm taking a break from this shit. Friends know where to find me, with a heart emoji. So clearly, the internet was getting to her. Even though she opened up the doorway herself, and she brought this all on herself, by the way, like, she's not innocent as much as she tries to play the victim here. Let's be crystal clear about this. In a message she wrote on Twitter, you could DM any of my posts to my fiancé or my parents, neither of whom have social media, but sure. And they'd be like, cool, bet, yep, that's her. Why are you showing me this? And I kind of see what she was trying to get at with that, where she was trying to do like the, the eye for the eye. She reached out to my wife and she was just telling my wife about how awful of a person I am. And that's why it was justified. And people could do that to her significant other or her parents. And it would be totally justified if they had social media, but they don't. So this kind of implies that you want people to go that extra step. And if you can't see that yourself, I can't help you. And sure enough, they did. Proof of the doxing is brought to us from Will of the Fans. I saw this on Twitter yesterday and I reported the account and I blocked it myself right away. I didn't screen cap it. I didn't want anything to do with this stuff, but there's been a lot of people coming forward saying, oh, it's Alyssa just playing the ultimate victim once again. And she just wants the attention from everyone and wants people to feel better bad for her because it's worked so well for her in her entire career where she starts throwing swords at everyone and then when they start getting thrown back she cries mama i need help everyone's coming after me i can't take the heat and some people are going so far as to say that she was doing this to herself i do not believe that to be the case because i've been doxxed many times the difference is i don't go on social media crying about it to everyone i don't say oh i'm getting doxxed I'm getting doxxed. It happens, okay? If you're going to be a public facing figure, you're going to put your face out there. Unfortunately, and this really sucks to say, it's par for the course when you enter this world. As much as you don't want it to be there, it just is it's reality and it sucks which is exactly why i say as much as i do not like this person i do not condone it after them because i don't want it ever coming at me so it's that the golden rule treat others like you'd want yourself to be treated especially when it comes to personal situations and personal privacy when she reached out to my wife that breached a unwritten rule of social contact on social media. You don't go there. You don't 
do that. And for whatever reason, in her fucked up mind, she has justified this. And she even said today, even though she said she was taking a break from Twitter yesterday, she's already back and already back at it again, talking about the doxing situation and trying to justify why it was okay to reach out to my wife and how that's different from doxing. Quick thing, doxing is not reaching out to someone's significant other and sending a polite message. Doxing is posting someone's home address. Thanks. Okay, so here's the thing. Before I even go on to her second part of this, it's interesting how she phrases that. Like, the, the framing of the sentence is so one-sided, and I don't think she even sees it herself. But she said right there, reaching out to someone's significant other and sending a polite message. How do you define a polite message? It was, to me, one of the rudest messages you could ever send to someone's significant other. Trying to destroy their marriage because you have a Twitter beef. Like, that's beyond fucked up. Like, I don't know what to tell you other than go seek help if you think that was normal. Because it's not. Normal people don't do stuff like that. But she continues... Continuously making content in which you denigrate me, repeatedly DMing me, misgendering my coworkers, photoshopping my face. Okay, so she is talking about a number of different people in a number of different situations. The entire gaming community or Twitter community in general coming back at her, aka Karma. She's piling that all into one tweet here. She's not specifically speaking to me. She was in the first one based off of her actions reaching out to my wife, but now she's expanded that to the entire community. Continuously making content in which you denigrate me, repeatedly DMing me, which ironically is what she did to me, repeatedly DMing me. I never reached out to her, but again, Remember, with these people, that road is a one-way street. Misgendering my coworkers, I guess I'll take credit for that one. You have someone who came at me on Twitter yesterday who is cosplaying as a woman, cosplaying as a journalist who's actually a male that's an activist that I was just calling out because they were absolutely batshit insane with what they were saying to me, and I was calling it like I see it. If you want to say that the truth is wrong because these people believe something different, that's on you. All I was doing is saying, that's reality. You can either live in it or continue to live in this fantasy land, which clearly you love doing. Photoshopping my face covered in blood. Before I go on on that one, this is coming from a woman with a green screen that she shared on Twitter telling people to do whatever they wanted. Like, she brought this all on herself. The consummate victim card, just being victim, victim, victim card. Like, anytime anything ever comes back at me, it's everyone else is wrong, everyone else is bad. I'm just the good guy, or girl, or whatever she is. I'm the, I'm the victim here. At the end of the day, everyone else is in the wrong. I'm just trying to set the record straight. Implying we're dating or having sex, executing me in VR, saying I have herpes, and trying to get my place of business closed is harassment. A polite DM is not. So this is mind-bogglingly funny. Because right here, she is trying to set the rules. The world does not live under your rules, Alyssa. Just because you feel a certain way about something doesn't make it the truth. You can't just wake up and decide what the rules are that society has to follow. You don't have that kind of influence. I feel like the power that's been given you at Kotaku being the senior editor there has gone to your head and the people above you have enabled the behavior. And from the top down at Kotaku, it all needs to end. This type of behavior, the situations you're putting yourself in, the entire gaming community at large is being hurt by people like you. And again, with the rules for me, not for thee, I love how she continues to try to set what people are allowed to do and what they're not, and why she is allowed to go over the line and cross the line when it's justified for her, but not everyone else. On Discord, she said, if anyone would like to chat about this Discord and the Steam page, let me know, thanks. And then she said, is there a reason why many of you don't have your names, pictures associated with your accounts on here? This was her trying to find more information, digging up on the personal lives of these people to most likely reach out to their significant others and threaten them to make them feel like they're not able to have a voice. This is the type of reality 
that she lives in. It is batshit insane. But somehow, in her brain, that little marble that's rolling around in there, it makes sense to her when it hits one side and then it rolls to the other and it makes sense to her. It is completely nonsensical. Jesteri on Twitter said, Okay, let's find your family and friends and just ask them stupid questions if there is no problem. F, how can one be so effing stupid? How is it even possible? Like, these people on Twitter are pointing out, like, showing the mirror to Alyssa saying, Hey, what you did to other people? That's happening to you right now. How does it feel? And she thinks that everyone else is out to get her when in reality, they're just trying to show her what she's doing and how she's acting is not acceptable. But like I started this video off with, I do not condone doxing and I do feel like sharing people's personal information, phone numbers and addresses and stuff like that that's not publicly available that they don't want out there, don't do that. That is different than DMing a significant other, but they're both really, really bad. I don't understand how she's trying to make a distinction here, why it was okay for her to reach out to my wife, who has nothing to do with any of this, and then try to do a false equivalency of how people putting information of hers out there is not okay. But what she did to me was okay. It's not. None of it's okay. None of it is socially okay. It should not be accepted in any form. Just because somebody in a high up position at a prestigious institution or asylum called Kotaku doesn't mean that it's justified and okay. They need to be told that what they're doing is not okay, which is exactly why I started the End Kotaku petition, which as of today has already crossed over two thousand signatures in just a few days and it is picking up speed i will link the change.org petition in the description below if you're moved enough to sign it to get rid of this kind of scum in the video game journalism industry i'm gonna leave it there if you guys want more information again check out smashjt.com for the full article thank you so much for watching and as always you stay smashing Smash Jay, Jay.